EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the Boston Championship. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabila. We're at the TPC Boston in Massachusetts. Frank, this is a really good looking golf course. Fun golf course too, Rich. It starts off with a relatively soft par four, not very long. And then of course the fourth hole, you remember that on TV, it's a drivable par four, five really. This beautiful dog leg left par four. I think it's one of the prettiest holes on the golf course. Reminds me of Sunningdale in England. Seven's a par five, two good hits, you might be able to get home. Uh, don't don't talk about the ninth to Phil Mickelson. Never really likes that hole at all. He's uh, made a mess of it over the years. A uh, good finish there at 18, but really, if you want to look at maybe a tough stretch in the back nine, 13, 14, if you make a couple of pars through there, then you've done well. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. Now the second shot to the par five. What a great shot. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. So they'll tap in. Has the birdie now at one under par for the tournament. Eagle would have been nice to start the tournament off. And now down to hole number 15. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, just been holding steady all day long, Frank. A solid round of golf. Um, four of these that will certainly uh, bode well come the end of the week. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Back to back birdies. We'll see. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McElroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. Frank, here at the 16th, you really see this sort of New England character, don't you? Yeah, that stone wall now protects that sort of two-tiered green. And uh, it, it, it sort of showcases the golf course. It, it just fits in beautifully with what Hans and Faxon have done to the golf course. Headed to the right, just a tad. Frank, he's missed the green here in regulation, but still hasn't missed the chance to make the par. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if he's got this shot in his toolbox coming up. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. And from the rough, he manages to not only make the green, but get within easy striking distance of the hole. These putts keep the round together.
with authority. Count it as a par and two under. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. And players nursing a lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church pews that divide the fairway into two sections, and that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? Frank, downhill shot here, will he have to take it just a little bit easier? Yeah, be careful with the ball position as well. If you play the ball too far forward and try and scoop it, it's not going to work. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Ah. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. This will be a 14-foot putt here. That's an outrage right there. I mean, if there's a high commission of, of golfdom, we need to consult them right now because it's just simply not fair, Frank. It's not. Yeah, I think the people fair. above are frowning on the people below. Nothing wrong with that part, Pike. Frank, the 18th year at TPC Boston, for whatever reason, generates quite a bit of buzz, doesn't it? It does. The longer hitters, obviously, they lick their chops. They're having a chance to uh, to make this green in two. But if you find one of the fairway bunkers, the addition of that pot bunker um, for the layup, that just it makes that decision that much more difficult. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. He'll take that one all day long. Very solid, about 15 feet away. Locked in on the read and the speed. Frank can't fault him there, trying to make an eagle. Uh, it's a rare bird, but the pleasure of making one, well worth the effort. Not a gimme, but well within his range. <laughs> Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. There you have it, Frank. First round is complete. What are your thoughts, partner? Rich, I think off. anyone inside the, the current top ten of that leaderboard is certainly well-placed to go on and uh, take this championship. Two shots off. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Boston Championship. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Navala. We're at the TPC Boston here in Massachusetts. And Frank, what kind of a golf course are we facing today? Big golf course, very much a sort of an inland link style. Gil Hands and Brad Faxon, 
They've tweaked it over the last few years. Uh, it's been a staple on the FedEx Cup playoffs since 2007. All right, Frank, now to the sixth hole. It's a 465-yard par four. What are the keys? Well, it's framed beautifully by the trees just in front of the tee, so you know exactly where you're trying to go down there. Two little bunkers on the right if you stray a little right, and if you stray a little left, you might just make it to the water. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Getting set for another approach, our featured golfer really looks dialed in at this point. Yeah, right now, this is a great feeling to have as a, as a golfer. Your swing's good, the timing, it's almost like it's just completely natural. You don't have to think. The swing is exactly where you want it to be. So really, you're just looking at the flag in front of you. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. That was not a good shot at all. Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. Frank, not close, but from that line, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, oh, it's like k kissing your mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. So just a formality here. Damn, drop a shot, first hole. So another bogey on the scorecard, and Frank, what happened this week? Um, I think it's a week to forget, Rich. Frank, you just love the variety of holes here at TPC Boston. Now we get to the seventh. It's a 600-yard par five. It looks straight away, but the problem is, if you don't hit a good tee shot, then you really have to be aware of that cross bunker. That is one place you don't want to go with your second shot. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Jesus. lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming ahead here. It'll be interesting to see how he reads this lie. All right, now another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the one we just saw. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like Pretty much right now, in. Rich. Just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. And about 210 yards to the flag stick here of this par three. It's down and the wind's behind me, it goes short. Birdie try up next. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Downhill. Uh. That's good work right there. Just a tap in. Eight feet past. 
Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Not just a tap. Safe. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. Frank, I love a hot dog and a soda at the turn. How hard is it to take a giant bite out of this ninth hole? Looks tough. It is. Uh, everything sort of bends with when he goes after it like he is here. What a great shot. Oh, crap. That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. Frank, why are great rivalries so important? Why do we love them? I think because people like to uh, sit on one side of the fence. You're either for or against a great player. And I think we see that today with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. There's the McIlroy fans that think his future is so bright. There's the Woods fans that still want him to pass Jack Nicklaus's record. That's the beauty. You've got to have an opinion, and you have to have a player. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that, that never deviated offline. From about eight feet. Oh, nice. Starting to move on this leaderboard now, Frank. It's got a nice look to it, another who's who. Two rounds in the books, Frank, and a good spot from which to make a move. So yeah, well shots. positioned. Uh, really, you know, if you're leading, it's a different pressure. Being in the chaser pack there, playing well, what a great position to go into with two rounds to go.